So you sat down, a form in front of you. You know the deal. Just tick, write, and sign. But for me, it comes down to that one section. What ethnicity are you? And I can tick, write, and sign. And it feels like I'm ticking what I am, not who I am. I remember in year seven, a teacher asked me, where are you from? So I said, my mom's from England and my dad's from Bangladesh. And he asked me, is your mum white? And I said, yes. And he was quite puzzled by this. And he said, are you sure? That's not right. Now it's only coming to when I speak about this, I realise he was quite taken aback at the thought of an interracial couple. Even when my brother was born, passers-by would give dirty looks, mock my parents. And it's not based on their character, they didn't even know them. It was based on their skin and the colour of the baby. How ridiculous does that sound? I bet if my mum walked past with a white husband and a white baby, none of that would have happened. Or if they were the same skin colour, other people wouldn't have judged them so quickly. It reminds me of a poem by John Agard called Half Cast, where it talks about how people need to start listening with all their mind, heart and ears. Because unless we listen to all their story and accept them, then we will continue with this battle of racism and oppression. Only if we fight it will we beat the stigma around interracial couples. I wouldn't have to feel like a problem. My brother wouldn't have to feel like a problem. Racism and oppression are things we cannot stand for. It doesn't matter who says it or where it comes from, it's wrong. I don't want to have to keep living in a world where people are scared of their skin. Where people look over their shoulder every time they go out because they're afraid they're incriminating their community and themselves. Where someone is scared about who they love because they're not accepted because of it. We are who we are and we're blended perfectly. If we don't see this, then we're already suffocating. Everyone is needing on each other and no one can breathe.